Today's Best Mix, Mix 106, Memorial Day weekend, official or unofficial kickoff to the summer movie season. We've got a couple of uh, potential blockbuster movies for you this weekend. Willie has seen both of them, and he has his reviews for X-Men, Apocalypse, and Alice Through the Looking Glass, starring Johnny Depp. The one person rooting for Alice Through the Looking Glass to be a big hit would be Amber Heard, because this is going to be her settlement money. Um, I made a prediction yesterday because this is such a historically horrible week for Johnny Depp that there's no way this movie is going to be a hit. Uh-uh. Oh, man. Well, you know, I mean, I think, I think the, big, the big question is hit versus being good. There okay. is a big difference. Yeah, there is a big difference. I just, in, in case anybody forgot, I just want to re- lay out here really quickly. Johnny's mother passed away yeah. on Friday. Amber Heard packed her crap and moved out on Sunday, filed for divorce on Monday, and he's still mad and in a verbal war of words with the deputy minister from Australia. His movie comes out on Friday, and that's why I said this is such a historically bad week that there's no way that he can make that much money. And the movie cost 170-some-odd million dollars to make, so it's got to make that much just to break even. Oh yeah, I mean, you, well, you almost, to be honest with you, you almost have to make. Think about this: one hundred seventy million dollars to make it, probably another fifty million to advertise it, yeah. and then when you sell a ticket, you only get half of that money. So you're going to have to sell about four hundred or five hundred million dollars in tickets just to break even. Once again, I predict Johnny Depp's historically bad week continues. <sighs> Well, he's going to go out on tour with Alice Cooper, so that's got to be better, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the way things going, if I were Alice Cooper, um, right? I, I, I would take a doctor along. <laughs> well, believe me, that group does. They're they're a little bit older. <laughs> but yeah, Alice through the looking glass. Oh, yes, Mia Wasikowska's back. And we learned that Alice has been traveling around the globe, you know, seeking out adventure. And now she's come home. And problems with her family are very dire. However, problems with the Mad Hatter are are even more dire. He believes that his family that was long thought to be dead may actually be alive. But nobody believes him, so he's fading away. Can you help me out here? I I didn't think the first one did that well. Am I wrong? It did very well financially, but it was just an okay movie. And I think what you get here is a movie that will do okay financially, but is a stinky movie. Uh. Well, just because, you know, the plot doesn't matter.